Hello and welcome to Our Country Garden. In today's video we're going to be showing you how to take nepeta cuttings. I've got a long pathway and I need lots and lots of nepeta which would be too expensive to buy so we're going to look at how you can do this very cheaply and easily by taking cuttings. Right, so this is a lovely clump of nepeta that's already, in fact, it's ready to flower. Um, if you can get a non-flowering stem, then that's probably best. But to be honest, it's quite a vigorous plant, so it doesn't matter too much. So take several cuttings. So just, just um, take a bit off. And then you can put them in a plastic bag on a hot day particularly. Today's not too bad. I'm going straight to the greenhouse, but I've got my cuttings here. Right, so I'm back at the greenhouse. Back at the greenhouse now, I've got my bit of napita that I've cut off. Um, so what you're trying to do is get this to root before it dies. That's the, it's the rush against time. So begin by taking off all of the leaves. Just pinch though, you can just pinch those out. And this one's got a little flower on the top where you don't want the energy going into the flower. So I'm going to just cut that off as well. So you've got left, that's what's left. Now I've got some rooting, this is um, hormone rooting powder. Dip the end in the hormone rooting powder. And then in your pot, which you've got already prepared here, going to, um, with my little dibber, I'm going to make a hole and then just insert the, um, the cutting. Now the cutting I've cut just where the, where the leaf node is, I don't know if you can see that, but where the leaf node is, that's where the, that's where the roots will start to come out. So you're just gonna make sure that is below the soil and then just press it in. And I'll do the same with all the others. So again, just take all this off. Cut the top out of that. And I'm gonna just cut that there just nearer to the um, cutting, nearer to the leaf node. And then I'm gonna put it in the soil. Like that. So you can get about five in a pot. So I'll just quickly do that. And that one's, that one's quite high up, so I'm gonna cut that a bit nearer. Same again. The leaves, that's where the transpiration occurs. So if you leave lots of leaves on, you'll find that they quite quickly wilt. But just by taking the leaves off, you want them still to get, receive the sunlight, um, but you don't want them to die. You want them to try and take root. Now I'll show you one that I did. I did one, I did lots actually um, several weeks ago. I did two weeks ago exactly to, um, today actually. Um, and I did several in pots. I've got probably about 15 like this. Um, and then because I was taking up so much time and, and compost, I decided I was just gonna do it straight into the final flowering position, which I did. And in fact, they've taken quite well. We've been lucky because it's been it's been very wet, so I think they're actually taking. So I've, I must have about, um, I don't know, about 200 plants, I should think, in total. So that's not bad, really. So that's what we're doing. And then you're gonna, there's no water in the watering can, but you're gonna water it. And then don't, I wouldn't leave it in the greenhouse. I would just leave it outside where it's not too hot. So that's that, I'll show you in true Blue Peter style. Here's one I did earlier. So we're just gonna tip it out. As you can see, in two weeks, it's got fantastic roots. 
Um, you can leave that as it is or you can individually pot on, which I might just do. So you're just going to divide them up. Like that. It's a lovely little, uh, lovely little plant and you can individually, individually pot them on and they'll get a bigger root system still ready to go out. Catmint is a good alternative to lavender. Uh, lavender, I do like lavender, but often it goes woody if you don't cut it by, back hard enough at the right time. I'm just going to get another pot. So I've got another couple of pots here. So yeah, I just find love and, and it flowers, it will flower until the autumn. It's lovely. Right. And if it does start to go a little bit straggly, just cut it back and then it will, it will reach, it will come back again quite strong. So I like it with, it's lovely with roses and I've got some roses that I planted this year. They're called um, Scarborough Fair. Again, again, David Austin roses and um, just where the bare soil is in between the roses, I thought I might just also put some catmint in there. So that's, we've got um, three lovely little plants. Everything needs watered, which I'll just go and fill up the watering can. So, um, let's just give that a water, and that one. And they can, um, don't need to be in the greenhouse, they can all go outside. Um, there we are. So, so that's, that's that little job done, which I've been wanting to do. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.